Hello, my name is Gil Zilka. Welcome to my channel. This is my series entitled Essential Classical Music, where we look at the best recordings of the major classical music works. Uh, this video is uh, taken out of my larger video covering the major symphonies. Uh, if you enjoy this, I hope you will go over and, and look at that larger one. Uh, just know that you don't have to watch it all in one big gulp. Uh, it is divided into chapters. It's real easy to just click uh, through and choose whichever symphony that you're curious about. So I hope you enjoy it. All right, now let's talk about the fourth. The fourth is, along with the first, uh, one of Mahler's uh, more compact symphonies. Uh, it's somewhat more accessible too. Uh, it's a little bit sunnier. It's got this exquisitely beautiful uh, final movement with the uh, uh, soprano soloist uh, that that ends in this this peaceful quietness. It's it's just gorgeous. Uh, for this one, my top choice is uh, again Yasha Ornstein. This time with the London Philharmonic uh, Orchestra. Uh, this again was recorded in 1970. Um, the soprano solo was as Marilyn Horn, and it's a little bit of a so somewhat slower interpretation uh, than others, but I think it really works. Uh, it it brings home that that peaceful quality. It, it's it's just got this um, this great uh, uh, feeling of of uh, peacefulness to it. Uh, that, that beautiful middle movement and then the final movement with, with uh, Marilyn Horn singing beautifully. The recording is excellent. <clears throat> Another really good version, but this is a live recording. This is from Barbaroli. Heather Harper is the soprano soloist. This is from 1967 with the BBC Symphony Orchestra. And this features all of Barbaroli's great skill with Mahler, his, his, his loving attention uh, and, and phrasing. Uh, and so this is a, another just beautiful recording as well. Uh, for something maybe a little bit more, uh, you might say, non-interventionist, more straightforward, you might say, uh, we have this one from Paul Kletsky. This is with the Philharmonia. <clears throat> Amy Luce is the soprano soloist. It, it actually comes coupled with a really good Das Lied von der Erde, a, a male version, an all-male version with Mary Dickey and Dietrich Fischer Dieskau. Uh, so that's worth seeking out. But the main thing I'm, I'm bringing your, to your attention here is the fourth. Uh, very well recorded, very well played, uh, a, a dependable, you know, central recommendation, as, as they say. Uh, now for a couple of historical versions. First, I want to mention Bruno Walter. Oh, this is just a beautiful uh, recording. <clears throat> it's unfortunately, it's a live recording, uh, 1955, so it's, it doesn't have the best sound. Uh, Hilda Guden is the uh, soprano soloist, and she sing, sings wonderfully. Uh, but mainly, it's it's the way he he conducts this. With uh, he, he he, there's actually a lot of fourths out there from Bruno Walter. Uh, there also are a couple with uh, Ermgard Siegfried, uh, the, the incredible uh, soprano. Uh, I think they're both from like 1950, one with the Vienna Philharmonic, one with the New York Philharmonic. Those are really good. Uh, but I, I found this one to be especially uh, great. Uh, Walter's humanity, his spirituality, it, it all comes comes forth in this. Uh, the, the wonderful uh, third movement adagio. Uh, so th this is, as a historical version, despite despite the sound quality, this is this is really worth seeking out. Also, because it's not often you get to hear Walter with the Vienna Philharmonic, uh, that's a great combination in Mahler. They, they play just beautifully. Um, however, if you want to get a historic version of the fourth, you have to get Mangelberg, Willem Mangelberg, uh, the almost the entire first half of the century, he was the conductor of the Concertgebouw, and he even invited Mahler himself to come to Amsterdam and conduct the fourth. So <laughs> to say that he knew Mahler is, is an understatement. Um, Mangelberg, compared to what we are used to now, Mangelberg was the quintessential romantic conductor. Uh, he took a lot of liberty with uh, with the things he conducted. Sometimes not always convincingly so, at least according you know to, to modern taste. Uh, and and definitely in this fourth, uh, he he does that. Uh, the tempo fluctuates quite a bit, but it works really well. Uh, the soprano soloist is Joe Vincent. Uh, the sound quality is not great, but not terrible for for 1939. Um, 
it's it, it's definitely one that you're gonna want to you're gonna want to seek out. Uh, it, it's just just great Mahler, very emotional, uh, dramatic, uh, beautiful. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, uh, I hope you'll also take time to click the like and subscribe buttons. And with that, I want to wish you all a great day and happy listening.